And we're back at the ESPA 2012 exhibition at the Nords and Dage booth with Hal Hendrickson. Hal's going to talk about the latest developments from Nords and Dage. Hal, take it away. Good afternoon, Randall. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining us here at the Nords and Dage booth. We're uh, an X-ray, 2D X-ray supplier who has recently added 3D capability to our X-ray systems. We have a series of X-ray systems at different feature recognition sizes, uh, everywhere from about one micron all the way down to 100 nanometers of feature recognition in a 2D mode. What we have done is take this capability and now added the 3D capability. And here at the show, we're featuring two different forms of 3D compilation out of the 2D X-ray machine. Our X-ray machines, um, you, you probably can't see the picture there, but they're about six foot by six foot, so we didn't bring one to the show itself. But the first, the first form of 3D X-ray that we're actually talking about here at the show is called computer tomography. Computer tomography is a component level 3D technology where we insert the component into a, as a holder and we rotate that sample 360 degrees. And in the process of rotating it, we capture up to 1400 images. We then compile those images back into a model that a, a, an engineer or a failure analysis person would be able to look at very high detail in 3D mode of that uh, particular component. So uh, what we do is an extraction process and a compilation of the different pixels. The pixels then become a 3D model that, that they are able to do a virtual slice in any direction of that particular model. Now, the, the downside to computer demography in a 2D X-ray machine is that you have to cut the sample down to a very small size, about 90 millimeters by 90 millimeters. So um, that limits if, if uh, an engineer or a failure analysis lab is interested in looking at printed circuit boards, that limits their capability by having to cut the, the sample. Many times if they're trying to find a failure inside a printed circuit board, the, 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 the requirement to cut it may end up doing more damage than, than not, and so they wouldn't be able to actually identify what's happening. So last year at the Productronica show, what we introduced at DAGE was a brand new technology called X-Plane. X-Plane is a off-axis CT, or, or it, it, it actually uses tomosynthesis and in the process of using tomosynthesis, it, it captures a series of images, not as many as computer tomography, but enough images that an engineer would be able to actually look at a sample or a, a look at a, an area of interest inside a printed circuit board. We capture enough images as we rotate around the sample that we can then compile them back in to a 3D model, which would allow us then to look at slices of that particular sample. So rather than to have to cut the printed circuit board now without cutting, they can look at any area of interest inside a 16 by 18 inch area of a printed circuit board. We do this off axis um, evaluation and in the process of doing the off-axis axis evaluation we can then pull together a 3D image of that area of interest. You do have the capability of pulling those images back into some kind of a viewer and still see a 3D evaluation or compilation of those images but just in the tomosynthesis capability they have the, the ability to see 240 slices of a particular sample. So if they're looking at interfacial errors, if they're looking at wire bond problems, whatever they're looking at inside the printed circuit board or inside the sample, they have that capability. So those are the two things that we're highlighting here at the ISFA show. Uh, we're happy to be here. We enjoyed the show very much. We're talking to some very high-level people, and Nords and Dage, we believe, is setting the standard 
for both 2D and 3D failure analysis for printed circuit board and semiconductors. Randall, back to you. Fantastic. Thank you, Hal. For more information, visit nordsendage.com.